it's Kinyo here, uh, full production crew on deck, just joking. I wanted to intro this video. This is me um, hosting. I was booked by Growing Empowered Together to do some hosting for an event that they had early this year for Dream Week, honoring Martin Luther King Jr. Amazing poets were in this. Andrea Volkab Sanderson, Fernando Rover, uh, Jay Alejandro. I'm talking published performers that perform for thousands of people every year in San Antonio. Um, super pleasure to be able to um, bring this video to you guys. I hope that you enjoy it. And I look forward to the screening. I haven't seen this yet. It's going to compile a bunch of stuff that we did over last year. We did a lot. Lauren does so much. Let's do a round of applause for Lauren. I know she does enough of it. Yeah, it was a great year. I was, um, I was happy to be able to host a couple times that I did get to do that. Um, I don't know how familiar everyone is um, with growing uh, power together. If you would consider, consider yourself very familiar with Millennial Matters, let me see you raise your hand. You've seen like more than three episodes. Okay, cool. If you've never seen an episode of Millennial Matters, let me see. Okay, that's a majority of people. Okay, so this is a good introduction for you then. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, and there's really great quotes here. Um, uh, Yassi Tami is here. She's going to be awesome. We can clap for her. Uh, Fernando Rover, um, JL Hunter. It's going to be a lot of fun. The guy who I'm introducing first, he's um, morally, I don't know, average as a human being, but he's very funny. And he, does a lot of, <laughs> he does a lot of good work. Um, also, with his talk show. Um, there's a lot of cool little weird stuff going on in San Antonio, and he has his own little circus going on. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to introduce none other than from the Richard Wilmore show, Richard Wilmore himself. Please. Come. But okay, that's a good introduction, I think. Um, we're going to play a game to start tonight off, and the winner... Yes, give it up for Richard. We'll <laughs> I'm going to get paid the big bucks, because I know what the schedule is for the show. The big bucks. A lot of money for paying me, so... <laughs> Hope you guys are having fun tonight. We're, we have a lot of really cool poets, um, and I'm excited to introduce them. I've already told you their names. But before they come up, I'm actually going to read a poem. Well, do you guys like poetry? Mm -hmm. On a scale of one to ten, what would you guys say? What do you give it? Eight? That's very high and honest. You didn't go for nine or ten. A ten from, see, dishonest, but I mean, okay. <laughs> How about you, sir? What's your poetry ranking? Yes, sir. A two? That's good. That's even more honest. So hopefully I can raise that at least to a... Hopefully five. Let's go for a five. Let's do that. How about that? Okay. So I'm going to read um, uh, a poem that I'm trying to read as much as I can this year. I've got to read it four times. Every year for the past four years, I've been like writing a poem that kind of sums up the year to me. Right? 
um, started with 2016. And they're all named after the year, so it's pretty simple, 2016. And then this year, of course, is 2019, and I'm gonna read that poem. In 2016, I was lucky enough, blessed, I guess you could say, um, I got to read it at the Democratic National Convention, and that was really cool. Um, yeah, it was me and a, a few other very, very cool people. Um, and so this year, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully I get to read it in front of as many people as possible. This is kind of sums up my mission. Is it hard to be thoughtful? I played enough rounds of this back and forth ignorance, us pretending not to see each other. I've seen your rewards and they're a long time coming and who you truly are is on the other side of these mountains. Do you really want to go there if it'll take an hour to get back again? Getting lost on a thousand likes, an hour spent in an extra, as an extra? That's a question you ask yourself about Los Angeles when you're in the Antelope Valley. It sometimes feels like it would be easy to lose a thousand nights, like it wouldn't be hard to be drowned by a thousand lights, dull fake fame compensating for not enough time spent following simple dreams. Then when you find new possibilities for growth in San Antonio, you have to ask yourself, is this my first life? Is this my best life? Can I find something to commit to? Can I burst these emo emotions through enough structure that I build an army around believing in myself? But I know I'm in love with this more than anything else I've ever done this year. Quit on me if it's too hard, run away if it's too scary because it's only gonna take eight people who need less comfort than change. I'm glad I'm stronger than at 30 than I was at 20 and I can remember everything I did in my 20s and not have to fight with that version of me and my memories too many times. I did my best to build a foundation inside myself that would mean something. So I'm ready to fight, are you? Trump was and always will be a part of what we talk about, but only for as long as America's even part of the conversation. So I ask you, what do you want to talk about? Culture, progress, laughter, anger, solitude, pain, progress, purpose, providence, honesty, new languages, ways out of things we never should have been in, power, identity, estate, time, being here. This year is about rest. I'm taking naps in the back seat because my feet are fireworks, but no matter how many times you ask me, we are not almost there, and this isn't the 4th of July, and there's no pa apple pie, and this road trip will never end because no matter how many times I stop, I have to pack it all up and get and <laughs> pack it all up and get moving again at some point. So let's not feel lost because of uneasy circumstances, but accept that there are still things that we need to fix, all of us, forever, working first and foremost through in introspection. What do we think Michael Jackson was talking about? The man in the mirror, you mean the one who's always been right here, blaming yesterday for today and sacrificing tomorrow just to have more time to figure out how to start changing? This can't be what's happening. This year is about rest. This year is about reprieve. This year is about rest because what if five seconds ago was a violin string and the most beautiful note had just been struck and God had woken up? So what if it took him one billion years to answer, wouldn't it be worth it for the one who created it all? <clears throat> this year is about rest because our heart is racing and there's nothing to run from and we're leaving so much behind. This year is about rest because this is the best we've ever had it. And if you only have a hundred breaths left, then you should take them without feeling guilty. We're going to dig deeper and learn how to become part of one team because this year is about rest and we need to put the parts of ourselves that think we know better than everyone else to sleep because whether or not you know it, you need me and I need you because it's you and me and the rest of, and the rest of this city against all the pain the past has left and whatever future bombs are going to get dropped, I can see it happening. Writers are finding producers, farmers are finding markets, immigrants are finding countries worth living in our work is the key we need to unlock a future where our destinies are a guide to fulfilling our identities. We will build Nigeria, Mexico, Liberia, the Philippines, and every country like them. We will build them to sit on the treasure of their long suffering and empower the peace they need to rediscover the opportunities that art can create. The artists who live in those cities and those countries have always been the ones to sleep their way through dust and raise fences, and if we can look them in the eye, and we can move with them. All I know is that the time for shy lovers is done so grab hold of the face that's locked in your gaze and let's make a way out that's that poem hope you guys enjoyed it hope you enjoyed it there's a lot of energy um that was that was fun i'm glad i got to read that for you guys and i hope i get to you know continue on a journey with you. I'm gonna introduce a couple of the poets, but I wanted to give away, last year I did this thing for 12 months, I wrote, well I published one book a month for 12 months, so now I have these 12 books of poems and um, I, get, I love sharing them with people and I sell them on my website, but I was like, 
I want to make this get event fun. So before I introduce the poets, I just want, I don't know how to like make a game to give it away. So is, is there anyone who would like a poetry book? Let me see. I'm just going to pick, I'm just going <laughs> to, it's going to be at random. So don't think I'm being prejudiced or anything. I just can't give one to everyone. Now I feel like a jerk. I was going to hand them out. We're going to go until, until I run out. Who, who else had their hand raised? Here we go, here we go. Boom, boom. And then if you see someone uh, next to you and they wanted one and you don't get one, and they don't get one, maybe you can give it to them and be nice. See, there's two people and there's one book. Now you guys are making me the jerk because you're both having your hands up still. I have another book. I'm going to get it for you. I'm going to get it for you. <laughs> so I'm going to bring you your book right now. Um, but we're going to jump into an, the next poet. I hope you guys are excited. This person is um, probably better at performing poetry than me because most of them are. Even though I'm a poet, I write for readers. These guys, they put the stuff in so you guys can enjoy it live. So I know you're going to enjoy this. This first poet, give it up for him. His name is Fernando Rover. follow that up, but I'll do my best. <laughs> uh, my name is Fernando Rover. I'm very, I'm fairly new to the poetry scene, so. Um, oh, sorry, thank you. Thank you for that. I need that. Thank you. Um, this poem is titled, Morning After. Sunshine may have come, but it is still raining in my heart. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Get did a so, such a good job this year of working with poets. I think they kind of found their niche um, last year at Dream Week, they had a Dream Week event where um, it was kind of like a, it was a contest. So we had a lot of poets, and there was like a panel and everything, and people got voted for, and there was a winner. I don't remember what the winner got, but um, Get has done a really good job working with poets, and it's a fun way to kind of engage the community and get people um, at least interested in what's going on. Because we do have a lot of young people who still don't find the time to vote or really know how it fits in, and eventually, over the course of their lives, they'll figure it out. But I think Get's doing a good job of uh, making it fun, and so I, I'm, I'm really happy that they're doing so much work with poets. Shout out to the whole team. BK, BK is so awesome. She deserves a round of applause. Let's do one for BK. Um, and, and lots of other people. I'll shout them out as we keep going on. But I'm gonna bring up the next poet. Uh, let me do it. Oh, she's ready. Good, 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 good. Um, she's super awesome. She's recent. She moved to San Antonio recently. Um, she has excellent energy, so I know that you guys are going to enjoy this. Give it up for Yassi Tatmi. I didn't have my approach planned out. I didn't have my approach planned. Um, yeah. Is it okay if I don't use this? Because I'm relatively loud. Um, my name is Yasmin. Um, I, you guys have me for five minutes. If you take me out, uh, Problems, okay. You guys have me for five minutes. I'm super excited to be here. Um, I love Get because uh, my mission, kind of as a poet, um, is to empower and inspire. I'm usually loud enough. We're seniors. You have to just. There you go. My mission as a poet um, is to empower and inspire. Okay. Because it'll come up um, definitely into Facebook, and you'll be able to find this video. So I'm gonna get right into the next poet, but because I'm feeling very Oprah today. I'm gonna give away three more books. Would anyone else like a poetry book? Let me get, okay. Let me do one. You know what, I'll just make a note of you guys and I'll find you. Okay, one, two, three, while the next poet is going. So this next poet, um, he's super awesome. I've, I've known him actually for a couple years. Um, and I believe, I don't know if this kind of stuff is classified or not, but I believe he's on contract with the city. So he does a lot of performances at certain city functions. Um, and then he also hosts a variety of really great um, poetry nights um, around San Antonio. So you are getting a seasoned artiste um, that I'm sure will tickle your senses. Perhaps, maybe, maybe not. Uh, we'll see right now, actually, because we're bringing him up. So give a, round, a large and loud round of applause for Jay Alejandro. Thank you, thank you, Kenya. Uh, give it up for yourselves. Thank y'all for, for being here, supporting. Uh, yeah. um, man, I'm, I'm, I'm delighted to be here. Um, I give it up for Jay Alejandro again. All 
right, all right, all right. Um, so we're, we're about to show the screening. We do have one more poet that I want to bring up. I don't know if she's ready. I'm looking at her. If you guys don't follow my gaze, I want it to be a surprise. Thank you. I think she might need some time. Oh, <laughs> you don't know who said that. <laughs> it's still a surprise. Okay. But before she comes up, I'm going to give away four more books because whatever. Um, and uh, these, this is the first one in the series, one of 12, so it's kind of fun. Anyway, 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 four more people who want books, let's do it. One, two, three, four, four, perfect. All right, five. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get one for you, too. Uh, let me do it right now because I'm not going to remember the faces. I hope you guys enjoy that so much. Um, it's actually like a secret way for me to end up in your living room with you later. <laughs> relaxing, <laughs> watching some Netflix, and you're like, oh, Kinyo's here. Let me see what Kinyo has to say. Oh, 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 wow. <laughs> Hopefully that's what you say. Um, but I'm gonna bring her up. This is a real treat. You guys, uh, I'm, this is such a fun uh, event. Ma'am, you're raising your hand. Do you have a question, young ma'am? I'm just joking, and you see that, she's like five, sorry. But she's cute, she's just going like this, okay. Um, <laughs> I want her to know she's being seen. But this has been a really great night. Um, some of these poets, like I've literally seen um, their work across the city, and they really do live for their poetry. I'm originally from LA myself, more or less. I'm originally from Oakland, but LA, anyway. Um, and so when I came to San Antonio, you know, I, one thing I know for sure about San Antonio is that if you're creating art in San Antonio, you must really love art, because you're probably not making any money. Um, and so, but besides that, I, <laughs> I, I think a lot of them are, are, are dedicated for a lot of other reasons, and they do find ways to make things happen, and I'm super happy that you've been able to witness some of them. The one who's gonna come up right now, she is not at all the least of any of these. She may be, dare I say, amongst the top poets in San Antonio. Actually, she's definitely amongst the top poets in San Antonio, no one would argue. She's helped me so much over the course of the last two years. I remember, I'll tell a short story. I, I was saying I wanted to get into events and I wanted to start doing things. And then I remember I went to one of her events and I was just like, all right, if I talk to this lady, it was almost like uh, um, Zachariah trying to see Jesus. <laughs> I was like, if I, if I talk to this lady, I will definitely get into the scene. And I did talk to her and she's put me on several things and that helped so much in, to where I am today. Like I can't even really explain it in the amount of time we have here, but she's a great poet, a lot of energy, a lot of emotion. Give it up for Andrea Bocab Sanderson. She was also recently on the cover of Essay Current Magazine and San Antonio Magazine. It's been a really good, really good time for her. There she is. I cannot say that I knew I was going to speak, because I did not, but be ready. You stay ready, you don't have to get ready. That's what they tell me in church anyways. Um, <laughs> so this poem is brand spanking new, and uh, it's gonna go on my album, so I had not even thought to memorize it. Uh, I've done it in the studio, and that's about it. And for some troubled youth that were locked up. I don't think they understood what I was talking about, but they smiled at me, so that's all good. <laughs> Thank you, vocab. Another round of applause. For us. Awesome, awesome. I just had something very important to say, and I forgot it, so <laughs> we will continue, nonetheless. Um, the next poet's very great. Um, I have two more books to give away. Who would like a book? Let's do it. One. If I run out of people before. before. What's wrong with that, I'll take sir? It. I'll take it. In church, we call that an enemy of progress. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Anyone else, though, would like a book? You might as well. Oh, sir, in the back? Okay. Oh, we have. Okay. I'll give each of you a book. That'll be great. Um, Yes, I wanted to say again that you can go to um, Growing Empowered Together's website um, to donate. So I, don't, I, I felt like um, someone had mentioned that maybe I didn't say that clear enough. So you can definitely look them up. They are a nonprofit organization. Um, this is a Dream Week partnered event, um, but it's definitely completely run uh, mostly by um, um, 
Growing Empowered Together. Dream Week's super awesome too. I'd like to shout out if you don't know what they are. Does anyone here not know what Dream Week is? One, two, three, okay, a few people. So every year, Dream Week, it's kind of centered around yeah. Martin Luther King as like a nexus type thing, but it's a bunch of different events um, on diversity. Um, and so they, they, there's, they put out a calendar and there's lots of events and you can be on their calendar and this is one of the events on their calendar. Um, yeah, it's great. Um, this next poet, she's also, she also had a Dream Week event um, she had it on the 13th. It was completely sold out. It was called the Rap Brunch. Um, and it, it, it was apparently very, very awesome. I haven't seen any, yet, any footage of it yet, but I'm sure it was, it was amazing. And um, I guess it was so popular that she's going to do it again in the spring. Um, congrats to her. Please uh, warmly welcome Miss Naomi Something to Say. <laughs> How is everyone doing this evening? Yeah. Can y'all hear me without this mic? Dusty medley, sometimes with sprinkles, but definitely topped with the reason for celebration. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's give it up for Naomi one more time. Incredible, incredible, ah, Miss Lauren. Let's do a um, photo of all of the performers. Let's do it. All right, Miss Yassi, vocab, if you guys want to head on over here. I think I saw Fernando somewhere. Fernando, you ever? Jay Alejandro? They all seem to be ignoring me, you know? Just joking. Excellent, excellent. And there was one person I forgot who was supposed to get a book. Who's that? No? Oh, nobody? I didn't forget anyone? Okay. All right, cool. presentation but just before that we're going to um, bring up uh, someone who's been working with get um, doing some cool stuff and he's gonna do some stuff and try to get some more donations out of you so into your pockets and then feel around for loose change you know don't do it like if it's like a Domino's delivery guy do it more of like a Fogo de Chao server you know they really deserve it they work really hard <laughs> I'm sure we all tip everyone equally. Um, but here you go. Uh, welcome, Sir Ryan. <clears throat> okay. Hello. I had a little too much wine, and I'm not 21, so that's fun. I'm just kidding. That was a joke. Online. So that's cool. <laughs> Definitely do that if you feel so inclined. My dad is a pastor, so this is like a very familiar... I wish I could remember the Bible passage. Who knows the Bible passage that talks about type? It's not type at all, so never mind. It's not the same thing. I guess nobody knows it. That's good. Do you go to. I lost it all on the way to what I really wanted. Out in the cold, if I bleed, I know I really want it. How can I fall if the floor already saw me coming? Out on the road, 
Driving through the night into the morning Hit by a truck so I know I must be doing something Gave up on luck cause the blessings keep the engine running Losing my mind so I wrote it down and sent it out She caught the vibe and ripped the fiber from my mouth Rip the fiber from my mouth I ain't got no